Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game You Better Beware, a game for clever people who hate their friends and enjoy terrible pee puns. And basically, in the game, you're going to be attempting to gather three royal jelly. You'll be having your own unique hive, and you'll be gathering unique workers, colonists, as well as, of course, action cards, sabotage cards, spies, and traps, and playing those cards on players who may or may not have jellies in their hands. If you can gather three jellies before anybody else, you'll win the game. But of course, beware of the Dreaded Wasp, a card that's going to attempt to remove those jellies and put them into the discard pile. The deck runs out, reshuffle it, and keep going. Simple turns, straightforward, take that action. I'll go ahead and show you the game and how it's played. Over here on the side, I'll explain each unique card, how they work, and of course, then I'll give you my review for the game. You better <laughs> beware. It's pretty straightforward. So let's discuss what's in the game and of course what you're going to get. And the first thing you're going to get is a tuck box for the game, which will come with all the cards that you need in order to play. Take the cards out and simply shuffle them all together. After you've shuffled them all together, then deal out one card to each player that's playing the game. And then choose a player to begin the game. Maybe the most recent person to get stung by a bee or perhaps somebody who owns a colony of bees. Just go ahead and have them pick the beginning of the game. After that, you'll go ahead and have them draw a card. On your turn, you're going to draw a card and then play any actions that you would like. You can play actions on a player's turn or on your turn. It doesn't matter. You can choose, choose whenever you would like. Uh, the only difference is, of course, beginning of your turn you draw, play, and then you can choose when to end your turn. And after you end your turn, the next player in clockwise order will then draw a card from the deck and rinse and repeat up until the point somebody gets three jellies. These are the royal jellies here. And the moment somebody gathers three of these guys here is the moment the game will end. Uh, and that's basically the, that's, that's the end all be all of the game. Like that end all be all. But yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Uh, there is a bunch of different cards in the game. For instance, you might get a raid card or maybe perhaps a spy card. There's glitch cards. There's trap cards, sabotage cards, colonist cards, and sting cards. They're all going to have their own unique border on the top middle area or section. It's going to have a different type of uh, card type. And this one here says betrayal, maybe a caught jelly handed or a B flexion. And then of course it will tell you what the card does. And then um, it will have a bit of flavor text underneath the uh, title of the card. Keep your enemies close and your colonists closer. Discard a colonist to steal one royal jelly from a rival if possible. A raid card simply we go in uh, to a player's hand and mess with them in some unique way. A spy card is going to give you yourself some type of information. Glitches are unique and they do let you do certain things like take extra actions more than once. Uh, a trap card can mess with somebody. If somebody tries to do something to you, you can trap them utilizing a card like this. Most of them have requirements. Uh, they have sabotages, which will force a player to give you cards or lose cards in some unique way. And then you have the sting card. Uh, this one here will let you do some nasty stuff to players, like eliminate royal jelly from their hand. And the final card, uh, this is basically an action card, is called the colonist card. It's, well, it's not really an action card. Basically, it stays in your hand and counts as a type of currency. Most of the other cards here will say if they need them or not. Like, discard a colonist card in order to do this action. If you don't have a colonist card, you can't utilize this card as an action. Colonists by themselves don't do anything, but in combination with these cards, you can utilize them in order to do something very powerful that will help you throughout the game. Royal jellies are straightforward. When you draw them, hold them, keep them tight, keep them safe. You're going to need to gather three. And the moment you get three, regardless of how it happens, as soon as that third card hits your hand, you win the game. Wasps, on the other hand, are the common enemy of the bee, and they are attempting to remove that jelly. If you draw a wasp card after having a jelly card, you'll lose all of your jelly cards, and the wasp will go to the discard pile. And that's it. When the deck runs out, you'll reshuffle it, and you can keep playing. And as you can see, the deck comes with a ton of cards, and there is a, uh, a load of them. I went ahead and organized them all. Um, you can see, I'll go ahead and talk about them in the reviews that, as to what they do, but for the most part, as to how you play the game, Draw a card, play cards, end your turn. Play cards on other players' turns. They draw a card, they play. Somebody gets three jellies, and they win the game. Straightforward. Uh, I was, I tried to be very specific. Wow, that was a terrible bee pun. Anyway, let's go ahead and review it. You Better Beware is basically a party game that has a take that nature in which you're trying to gather your jellies, you're attempting to forego your opponents from gathering jellies, and of course you're utilizing your cards to save yourself from having to discard them. There's a lot of very useful and powerful cards in the game, but when you utilize them they go away and they're not likely to come back, especially if they're very powerful ones like stealing jelly from other players or discarding a colony colonist in order to 
gather a specific card from a player's hand. Uh, and because of that, you're kind of having to decide when and how you want to utilize these cards. Now, this game is very much so a luck-based game. You can simply draw jelly, draw jelly, draw jelly, and win the game. It's very unlikely that's going to happen, but there's a possibility of that incurring, and because of that makes the game kind of quick, depending on the type of game you're playing. It can also go quite a while, especially if you're playing with a lower player count, so just keep that in mind. Uh, due to the fact that there's a ton of different cards, there's a bunch of uh, varying ways that you can utilize those cards, and how you choose to save your colonists and when you choose to utilize them is going to make a big difference in this game, so do make sure that you're very well aware of that. Uh, in this game, as well as course, there's going to be a ton of bee puns. If you like a games that involve bees, if you're a fan of bees, here's one I would strongly suggest you take a look at, especially if you're more of a gateway gamer, somebody who wants to pop in, play a quick game of something, and pop out, and something, of course, to get your kids interested in bees as well. It's very, very cute. Even the artwork is uh, very, very cute as well. I really personally like the, the royal jelly. It kind of reminds me of those old internet memes and whatnot, and uh, all the bee puns are, are cute. You could have, like, the wasp, all your jelly belongs to us, or anti- uh, ant- anti-espionage don't mess with the fbi or uh the robbery thanks for your contribute contribution <laughs> contribution uh you saw nothing go about your business a sting operation uh beyond the call of duty you have to do beater than that. Anyway, and they just go on with a bunch of different little bees. Um, the artwork is meant to be humorous and cute, and then of course the flavor texts. It's relatively easy to understand what all the cards do after your first play of gameplay, you're going to go, okay, I know what this does and how it works, and what this does and how that works. Uh, you're also going to know who you may want to target based on how they're playing, and of course, you might you might also get it wrong, but it's okay, because this game is all about fun and laughs and, and a quick jump in and jump out style of gameplay. It's something I'd probably play in the middle or between another game, especially with people who enjoy bees and bee puns or just quick com comedic, like, you know, the like humorous aspect of the style of game. It's probably not a game I play with gamers that are like really hardcore into like some serious str strategy and things. Thinking this game doesn't have that in it. What it has is humor, laughs, throwing a bunch of stuff at other players, having them outraged and, and insane. And of course, you'll be able to see this on our live stream. Because I'm going to go ahead and play this game live. Josh is going to love it. Max is going to love it. Because they're going to be able to douse people with a bunch of honey and, and mess with them. And you know, I'll, I'll expect that to be occurring as we play this game. And myself to never, ever gather jellies. Because there's no way they're going to let me. Regardless, though, if you like a game like this one, go ahead and check the link down below in the description. If you'd like to go ahead and pick it up, it'll be on Kickstarter starting today up at 5. And we'll have our live stream, of course, today at 6.30 p.m. PST if you'd like to see more of this. And I will even do some giveaways today as well. All right, let's go ahead and have an outro now i'll i'll be there with you at 6 30. wow that was that was lame all right guys thank you so much for watching another unfiltered gamer board game review for the game you better beware if you're interested, you can go and check out the link in the description, like I said before. As well as, of course, like this video, comment on this video, let us know what you think about this game, whether you'd pick it up, why or why not, and hit that subscribe button, the bell notification button. And of course, if you would like, or if you'd be so willing, go ahead and watch us play live every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. PST, where we play games just like this one. And in fact, we are playing this one uh, every Wednesday on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. So we have a bunch of different options for you guys to do that. I look forward to seeing you there. Patreon is an option too. Thank you very much, Patreon uh, members, for supporting us throughout this time. That's very, very helpful, and we can uh, be able to send you more games and show you what we got going on in the woodworks. And for you moonshell lovers out there, we're, we're trugging along. We just got all that work in, and so stuff's coming along. All right, guys, that's all I got for this time. And as always, I look forward to uh, be punning with you next time. Bzzz. I can't think of a bee pun.